Hi everyone, Suzanne the Raider here. Welcome to my playthrough of the unfinished business level Atlantean Stronghold. And as usual, let's just get straight into it. Now, a few of you might be thinking, ooh, this slide looks awfully familiar. Well, it is, or maybe, that's the question. So yes, this looks exactly like the slide we slid down in Tomb Raider 1 at the end of the Great Pyramid to end the first game. So I noticed that the first time that I played through these levels and I wondered, is that the same slide? What's going on here? Um, so I did a bit of research on the unfinished business levels and also I just wanted to know a bit more about them. So um, yeah, I'm gonna share that research with you and hopefully you find it interesting. So according to my research, Philip Campbell, who was the level designer for the unfinished business levels, actually said that in his initial design, the Atlantean levels, the two levels we're about to play now, were actually meant to come first in the unfinished business uh, levels. I'm, I'm amazing with words. Um, but they were meant to come first. They were meant to come before the two Egypt levels, which of course we just played. And he stated that this set the levels at the appropriate difficulty level. So, i.e. it set them to expert raider level, which was the intention with these levels. So, um, basically, you would start out the game at this point with nothing, only your pistols. So you'd have to, you know, kill a few Atlanteans with only pistols, then very shortly you would attain the shotgun. The shotgun is actually, I believe, inside this tower down the bottom, um, if you haven't gotten it already. So yeah, you were meant to then fight your way through using kind of strategy, you'd have to be very careful. And you know, that would make it a lot more difficult than of course, how we start the level now which is with, well, everything, because we've already stocked up, collected all our guns, done all that in the Egypt levels. So, you know, it's, it's a lot less difficult then to, to start this. So I don't know if they switched them to make them easier or what their thinking was, but yes, these two levels were meant to come first. Um, so just the, uh, the objective um, of these levels is in here, we can see the hive. So this is kind of a big hatching room for Natla's, um, sorry, the camera keeps going everywhere, for Natla's uh, mutant army, r mutant babies. I don't know what you want to call them, but they're in there. They're ready to hatch um, and kind of be unleashed on the world. So we have to destroy them, obviously, because that would be very, very, very bad. So we don't want that to happen. Um, so that's why we're here. Now, I am going to just tell you a little bit about what the theories around what um, the Atlantean levels coming first could actually mean for the storyline of these unfinished business levels. Um, but first, I am going to just kill some mutants, um, explain a funny shortcut that I found, and then I'll kind of continue the story. Uh, when I've done that because as we know I find it very difficult to talk and walk at the same time um, <laughs> so let's just uh, focus So there's a view of the room down below. Now, how I got stuck last time was, and I'll show you the bit in a minute where I got stuck. Um, it's kind of sneaky, but I was stuck in this area for ages and I was just running around the place going, where the hell do I go? And I actually discovered a shortcut that takes you right to the end of the level. So if you want, you can skip the entire level, um, it's quite a funny shortcut, but what I'm going to do actually, hang on, can I jump back up here? I can. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save it here and then save in a new slot. And what I'll do is, ooh, we're, we're full. We'll start new saves. Um, I will 
film that separately and just stick it in the end of the video for anyone who is interested in that. It's it's kind of an obvious shortcut. I think a lot of people have discovered it. Um, but just, you know, if if people haven't and they're interested in skipping the whole level for a bit of a laugh, um, I will stick that into the end of the video. Okay, so we're just going to dislodge some boulders here. Ooh. And um, once we have that done, then we should be fine. Okay, and a tip with this mutant that appears. He doesn't have any long range attacks. So you can kill it very comfortably from up here with pistols. So yes, as I said, the two Atlantean levels were supposed to, in the original design, come first, which leaves us with a very interesting um, theory as to the story behind these. Now, I don't know if this theory is true. Uh, I haven't been able to find official sources that confirm it or anything like that. Um, so, I mean, if, if any of you know if it's been confirmed or what the story is what am i doing i don't know um yes please please let me know in the comments i would be interested uh, in hearing that and is that boulder going to yes there we go bit of a delayed reaction but there is a boulder there as well um so yes what could this possibly mean for the story so as i said the slope looks very similar to the slope that we slide down to end the first game after we kill Natla. So a theory is that um, this is actually a continuation of that. So we start out an unfinished business. Um, we've kind of exited that kind of part of the pyramid that was blowing up. Um, we've slid down that slope. And we've now slid into the section where there is the hive. Um, and Lara, of course, now knows that the hive exists. We saw it at the very start of these levels. So she thinks, oh, well, I mean, while I'm here, I might as well destroy that as well and completely save the world because why not? Um, so yes, she kind of works her way through this to kill and destroy the hive and all the remaining mutants and then she leaves the island and you can presumably guess that the kind of final cutscene of her kind of getting out of the pyramid and the island before it explodes and her kind of flying to safety happens after that um seriously is that is that thing not gonna come down? Oh, sorry guys, I need to I need to get all kills. So um, I need to try and coax this down. Come on. Um. Come on. There we go. Okay, crisis averted. Um, and then presumably, as she's speeding away on her little boat, she um, decides to stop off in Egypt on her way home then to go and find Temple of the Cat uh, because that, that looks like a long drop. Oh, it's okay. Um, because, yes, yeah, she wanted to find that Temple of the Cat and the Cat statue um, inside the temple. And, yeah, she didn't have time to do that the first time because, you know, she was busy chasing uh, or running against Natala and trying to get the ski on and all of that jazz. So, yeah, when you think of it that way, 
that actually makes a lot of sense um story wise so yeah i mean it's completely up to you um let me know in the comments below what you think the story is behind these but i actually think that makes a lot of sense um if you consider the fact that the levels were designed with the intent that these atlanteans levels were played first um but yeah let me know anyway that's my that's my little story about them so this is the part that i got stuck at the first time i played because if you notice this little ledge um just to the left here is sloped so it kind of starts off high and then slopes down now the very bottom of this is the only place that you can drop into this hole and survive um going onto the slope if you drop from anywhere else you will die break your neck um all of that let me just make sure that uh i have full health so yeah that is how you continue here for anyone who's confused i was very confused so oh and i also forgot to mention sorry if i took a medipack there and my health bar was full for some reason um with my recording of this level my little recording bar that kind of comes up on my computer <laughs> is completely blocking my health bar from my view and usually that doesn't happen uh usually the recording bar i can see my health bar no problem but for this level and this recording for some reason i cannot see it all so um i'll just be guessing my health for this level and possibly taking medipacks when i don't need them so if that happens you know i'm oh that's creepy um i i'm not silly i i have eyes and i can see i just can't see my own health bar <laughs> so bear with me on that oh come on it's very boring Ooh. There we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, sorry, just as I was finishing off there before rudely interrupted. Um, yeah, please leave any theories you have about these levels um, in the comments below. I'd really, really love to know what you think about, you know, what the storyline is supposed to be in, in these levels. Because um, as you probably know by now, if you've been watching my videos, I'm super into storyline and characters um in tomb raider so yeah be interested to know what people think but for me that kind of theory story wise makes the most sense as to why we're here um you know and kind of why we're back as well in certain places or you know it could just be that the Ooh! Oh god, do I need a medipack? I can't see. I can't see. Okay, let's just let's just take one. Whew. Okay. How am I doing on health? Am I okay? I'm asking everyone as as you can't answer me. Um, okay. So these creepy creepy mutants are here. Now, they will only be activated by certain switches in this room. Um, so you can avoid pulling those switches and avoid those if you don't want all kills. I want all kills, so I will be killing these. Um, and also, if you run in behind them and grab the goodies, they activate as well. Um, but of course, that usually leads to taking a lot of damage. And uh, we, we don't want to do that if we can avoid it, so... Oh. 
Okay. So those are the three switches to avoid if you don't want to kill those and you don't want all kills. Okay, so that opens a little door for us to get some goodies. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, I think it opened the exit door, maybe. I think. As I said, I'm not... Uh, Definitely not a Tomb Raider expert on these levels. Anyway, these are quite new to me. And that switch made that centaur spawn in the final room of the game. And we can see him, there we, we can see him in there kind of running around like a mad yoke. Um, so again, if you don't want to fight that centaur, in the final room just don't pull that switch um i don't think it like negatively affects anything i don't think i don't know don't take my word on it i don't know anything oh okay here we go Now, I really, really don't, I remember the start of this level because I play, I spent a long time on it because I got stuck um, and I don't hugely remember the rest of the level, so I know, oh. get you with some magnums. mainly because I'm impatient, but I'm sure you can shoot them from pistols, or with pistols from here. Ugh. Um, oh yeah, so for anyone wondering, these are the two mutants we hatched earlier when we kind of ran around the long way and ran past those windows so it just makes it easier if you hatch them before you come in here because then you can shoot them from here and it's it's pretty safe um where did the mutant go though oh i don't know i don't have patience for this i don't have the patience and that is how i end up dying all the time okay Let's just ooh, got stuck there. Let's just pick up some goodies. Um and I'm sure we can um I don't I'm sorry, I'm trying to squint and see no I can't see the health bar at all. At all. It is completely obscured for me, so I'm going to just save it. Um hopefully it's fixed with the new game. Or did I kill them? Oh, no way. Did I kill them both? I must have. I must have killed them. Okie dokie then. Okay. Happy days. But um, yes, it is worth coming in here to get these goodies, but it is not necessary to progress in the game. So you can just skip this room altogether if you want to. Um, but yeah, if you hadn't run past those windows earlier and hatched these two guys, then I presume they would hatch when you kind of came here to pick up the goodies. Just make sure he didn't run out here but i i mean i must have i must have killed him i guess so okay oh 
okay. And where do we go next? I don't remember. Oh, is that- oh, that's hitting me? Oh. Did I lose life? Did I lose life? Probably. I'll just take this just to be on the safe side. I mean, I have a load of medi packs, so I can just take some when I'm unsure, I guess. But it's just annoying that I can't, I can't see. Is that centaur in here or is that the other centaur that we spawned? Is he oh he's underneath okay the exit room is underneath so that's why we can hear him okay cool he's no threat oh there he is I just saw him running around there some of it's hard to know when they die sometimes because the kind of exploding graphics are are not great. Okay, what's up here? Lava, I guess. Sure, look, we'll just save it and we'll have a goo and see what the story is. Okay. Um. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing. Okay, so that lava is hurtling towards us and you just jump up here. But there's also no rush because it does stop before it gets to you, so you know. That's that's why I didn't panic. Um it it doesn't really do you any harm. Okay, and I remember there's a little mutant down here. Did I get it? I think so. Okay. Um, and then I think I have to go back up and around to get in that. Oh, that doorway. Don't be. Oh God. Okay, she's got she's got a mind of her own at the moment. Um, I say that, but really I'm just being an idiot and pressing all the wrong buttons. Okay. saved again just because I like to I like to save my game okay I think actually if I just run I should land yeah okay there we go uh, magnums or uzis we'll go with the uzis why not oh Cool. Okay. Uh, water. I don't like this bit. Um, but this is to get the second secret so unfortunately we must okay let's just go let's just do this okay um and the first time i played this i remember i was absolutely um oh grab it 
Sorry, swimming on the keyboard for some reason just doesn't go that well. Um, the first time I played this thing, I was terrified swimming around here because I thought, oh no, they're, they're not going to do it. They're not going to create, like, the worst horror of horrors and actually have, like, an Atlantean sea monster or something. Like, 100% thought that there was going to be like an Atlantean sea monster or something in here and I was absolutely terrified and um, because it looks scary as hell down here as well like just look at this structure like what is this why it's terrifying um but no no there's there's no Atlantean um sea monster in here it is just in fact um a secret so it's it's not too bad but still still a bit creepy let's be honest um now i know you you're supposed to pull two switches but i'm not sure what the second switch does honestly but sure look the secrets in here so let's just get it and not drown although it looks like we might drown oh no and i can't see my my health bar this is pretty bad oh no Oh no. Oh no. I can't see my health bar. I'm completely panicking. <sighs> this is probably such a waste of medipacks, but I don't really care. Okay. We made it. We're okay. I'm. Oh no. I didn't want to go down again. So I'm really trying um, not to die. I don't like dying. So, um, okay. We survived, we're okay. I'm actually, I'm really interested to watch this back and just see how many unnecessary meta packs I have taken because I can't see the health bar. It's kind of funny. Anyway. Okay, so when you pull that switch, jump right up on this block um, before those things come out. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I do not have the patience for this. Okay, there we go. righty okay so yeah again you can skip these i'm pretty sure if you don't want the pickups it just opens these two rooms and you can go in and pick up some stuff um but not necessary not necessary in any way okay now this is the big one now
Look at that. Okay. So firstly, I'm gonna just go down here and pull the switch. It opens the exit. Now, again, if you're not that pushed um, about getting all the kills, you can avoid flicking that switch altogether. Or if you do flick the switch, um, you can actually just continue on now and not kill them. And um, it's completely up to you. I'm just going to save it because I do believe that they have long range attacks. Um, so it is of course safest to kill them from over here. But sometimes you may have to coax them out. I don't know what my life looks like. I'm just going to take one anyway. Gave me a heart attack. Okay, sorry, I'm just gonna save it again because this is actually taking a long time, just in case I die. Okay, here we go. Uh, how's the life looking? I can't see anything. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. Okay. on come on okay I think that that's um all of them oops should be Okay, and then if you do decide to kill them, you can go in here and just get some goodies. Which is two small medipacks. I mean, hardly worth it, but we're going for, that is everything, isn't it? Yeah, we're going for all kills and all pickups, so. We have to do these things, unfortunately. But yeah, you know, if, if you're not arsed, that is totally okay. And you can just skip that. Okay, so that's everything in here. I think we did everything underwater as well. So now we're just going to climb out and re-emerge in the big cavern that we started in. again because I can't see my life. I know there's a little mutant waiting out here for us. everything um so yeah sorry as you can see this is the room we were we were in we're now going through these these gold doors so this is the second one um and we oh okay 
Okay, is that the only one? Yes, so our objective is to open and get through that other gold door. And this is a very confusing bit and I don't really remember it that well. Um, so this will be fun. Okay. Um, and then I did see shotgun shells down here. But they they definitely brought their A game in making the Atlantean levels super difficult in unfinished business. They are very, very difficult. Um, definitely expert raider level that we are at now. Um I'm not sure if there's kind of anything else to to pick up. And what's this? Okay, so that opens the other door. Perfect. Um, and now I think we just have to do a little bit of swimming to get some pickups. Unless I missed something. I don't think I did, but maybe. Let's, um, let's hope not. Okay. Sorry, I'm just having a, a, a quick looky-loo around and I don't think that there is anything else. Um, okay, let's... Oh, no, I did miss something here. the left one first because that opens um is this a secret no no it's not a secret it's just pickups actually is that a secret that would be the lamest easiest secret in the world what are you thinking suzanne i don't know i just for some reason that that was a secret but i guess not um okay sorry i'm just gonna save it again because <laughs> the first couple of times i played this i drowned a lot so um come on okay she won't pull the the switch she doesn't like me today okay shells got those and pick those up and uh, do we have air soon oh yeah there's air up here okay and um, if you notice a door just off to the left yes we are going to try and go there this is the secret okay now this is the secret here. I got confused. This is it. And this, oh, me and spikes do not get along. Okay. Gonna try and not die here. But yes, this is where you pick up the magnums finally if you're playing. <laughs> Um, and it's timed, sorry, so you have to be, you have to be really, really quite quick. And um, there we go. Okay. So, you see, it seems a really crappy secret. It's, o it's only magnum clips. Um, if you already have the magnums. But it's much more impressive if you don't have the magnums because you get the magnums there. 
but anyway there we go so yeah i'm not sure how much life i lost doing that but that's the easiest and quickest way to get through that time door as well okay and now we can climb up here and get some more pickups Um, oh, I forgot to mention actually as well that um, you can download save files from, if any of you know Stella's Tomb Raider site, she is absolutely amazing. I think I've talked about Stella before. Um, her walkthroughs, hints and tips, all of that are just absolutely amazing. So helpful. And she also has a bunch of save files on there. If you're ever stuck at a bit or just want to skip ahead to something um and i believe she has the link to where you can download save files where you can play the atlantean levels with nothing from the start as they were intended um so yeah definitely check that out um let me see am i oh oh no why do I always die when there's spikes? See, I got too curious and I started like looking around and stuff. Anyway, it's fine. So, yeah, see, I got curious. What's this crack? Um, but I should have just left the crack alone. Okay. Anyway, not that big a deal. We just saved. That's why we save a lot. That's why we're compulsive savers. Um. Okay, so I'm just going to jump across here now. There we go. So yeah, um, check out her site. It is, I believe it's, is it tombraiders.net? I think she is. Um, and yeah, you can download the save files and play the game as it was intended. Now, because we got the secret, we can actually go through here uh, that's the door that we opened you see the two the two gold doors there that's the door that we opened so you can just come straight through um from opening it in the other room or you can come through this way get all the pickups get the secret and then climb climb this way so yeah whichever you prefer it's it's kind of confusing but there we go cheer major is confusing um, and yeah, I think we're almost at the end now. Exciting. I really, really hope that I got everything. I just have like this. <gasps> no! No! Damn it. I'm annoyed. Now I'm annoyed at myself. I just need to concentrate more. Um... But yeah, I'm just worried that I missed some pickups. But you know what? Let's just concentrate on not dying. Are you kidding me? At least you are getting a nice tour of this pit down here. Okay, there's nothing down here but lava and spikes as I am skillfully demonstrating to you. Oh my God. How do I jump to this without dying? Okay, let me try this then. Is oh oh just about made it, okay. Oh my god, I actually can't cope. I love Tomb Raider, I swear. Okay, now I know there's a mutant here. I'm taking another medi pack because I can't see can't see my life. Ooh. Okay, again, I can't see my life. And Tomb Raider physics, a mutant appears when you take this on this ledge out of complete nowhere. Physics. Ooh. Okay. everything did 
Do do. How's my life doing? I can't... I can't see. I'm gonna take another Maddie pack. <sighs> okay. Um... So, I do believe that we just run and jump across these. Ooh! Ooh. Okay. And that wasn't... That wasn't good. Okay. We got some of those, and I, oh yeah, we climb up there. Don't think there's anything else here. Oh, why won't you climb up? Oh, because I'm not pressing the action button. Oh my goodness. Okay. And as you can probably see, we are above the big cavern that we entered in the first place. Um, and ooh, sorry, I'm just gonna save it again. I don't, I don't trust myself at this stage to um, do anything right. So now you can, we're going in that hole. So you can probably figure out the shortcut to the end of the level that I found by accident um, and that I know a lot of other people found but yeah as I said I'll stick that in the end um, but here we go we're going in that hole okay so we have to climb up to this point now I am going to save it because sometimes the game can crash at this point um, but if it does crash, just reload your save and it should work the second time. But also it usually works to um, do a swan dive. So let me see if I can do one on the keyboard. There we go. Oh. Oh Christ, okay. I guess you have to run and jump and do a swan dive then. Can you do that? Let me see. Okay, <laughs> let's try it now. I was I was prepared for that to be such a majestic moment and then she just broke her neck. Ah, now that was majestic. Wow, that was amazing. I'm uh, very impressed with myself over that. Okay, so this is where the centaur spawned. That I told you about. Um, oh no, wasn't meant to do that. So we just have to kill him now and then exit the level. Where are you going? Okay. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to stick with the Uzis. Oh! I can't see my life! Okay. Save it up here. Oh, oh crap. Just hiding behind the pillar because I'm scared.
Yay! Okay. Finally. Um, so let's just do a last kind of sweep for hiccups. Um, hopefully I got everything. Not 100% sure. I guess so. And now we just go in here to end the level. Okay, let's let's check. Okay, so kills 31. Items. Oh no, item 63 and I only got 62. Oh damn. Okay, so I will have a look through my notes and see where I missed that pickup. I'll put it in the description. I'm devastated, but I mean, you know, it happens. Oh no, I can put 99% complete on it or something. Um, but thank you so much for doing this playthrough with me. Um, I will see you in the next level where we will be playing the Hive. And as usual, please like, comment and subscribe. And I will talk to you in the next one. Hi everyone, just hopping in here to show you where I missed that pickup because it was annoying me and I like to be complete. So this is the big cavern um, and that's the first gold door that we came through. This is the second gold door here where we killed the mutant. So just kill that. And as you can see, we can go and collect all the pickups and pull the switch on the way down like we did last time. But I'm just going to go straight into the water to show you the pickup and we can actually see it right there. But I'll go get the first one. So this is the pickup I actually got this set of magnum clips here. But there is a second set down in this little dip here. So this is the pickup that I missed. I just wanted to, well, play through it and show people um, if anyone was wondering where that pickup is, that's where it is right there. And then once you do that, you can continue on as normal, pulling those switches, etc. Hi everyone, just hopping in here to also show the shortcut that I mentioned before. So that is taken just on the top of this tower here, looking over the cavern. Um, as we know now, we are aiming for that hole right there that we kind of swan dived into. So the easiest way to get right to the end of the level, if you wanted to, was just to run and jump over here. Grab on there and then just do a shimmy. And you just keep shimmying until you see this kind of a pattern that starts very small and gets bigger and bigger. It kind of slopes up. And then we have this first kind of solid one after the slope up there. And you just backflip off and slide into the hole. And we're <laughs> right at the end of the level. You pretty much skip the entire thing. But you know, if you just wanted to skip right ahead through to the hive and the centaur hasn't spawned in here because we didn't hit that switch and it's just a smooth ride to the end of the level. So just wanted to quickly show people that if they were interested. <laughs> 